Hello everyone! How are you today? I hope you and your family are doing fine despite of this pandemic. Are you excited to learn something new in physical education? I am Rockin Jade M. Rackliffe. You can call me Teacher Rock. I'll be your PE teacher today. I am from Bayawan National High School here in the Bayawan City Division. Let's learn something new in PE today. Let's play the game 4 picks 1 word. I'll show you 4 pictures and you'll identify the word and our lesson for today. That's correct. Our lesson is about Arnix. Let's watch a video presentation. Practical application sa mandan. Sige. Okay, so nyari. May hawak ng stick, pero hawak ang kita dito. Mm. Yan. Well, sa stick fighting, meron tayong principle ng pag-release ng grab. Sa itsura niya, ipapaikot ko yung wrist, and then I'll use the butt end para mag-apply ng pressure sa forearm. So yan, matatanggal siya. Mm -hmm. Same thing din siya kung gagamit ako ng improvised weapon tulad ng itong ball pin. Mm -hmm. So pagka-grab niya, ikot ko din, pwede kong ipindot para may patalim, and then apply pressure ulit. Boom. Kapag wala naman akong hawak, so empty hand technique sa tayo, mm -hmm. yan. So pagka-grab niya, ikot ko ulit, tapos para matanggal, gagamitin ko ang aking live hand para mag-release. From there, pwede na akong tumakbo, tumakas, or tapusin yung laban. What can you say about the video? Have you experienced this before? Thank you for sharing your ideas and experiences. What is self-defense and why is it important? Protecting ourselves from danger is a very important skill that we should develop. Self-defense helps you to prepare for unexpected situations and also increases your mental and physical health. Did you know that we Filipinos have our own self-defense technique and martial art? Arnis is our Philippine national sport and martial art. Before we begin, let us have the lesson objectives. Identify the history, benefits, and equipment of Arnis. Execute the basic skills of Arnis. Perform Arnis properly for self-defense. And practice self-discipline at all times. Let's talk about the history of Arnis. The history of Arnis dates back before the colonization of the Spaniards. During those periods, it was called Cali and the techniques of the art is focused on bladed weapon for fighting. During those days, Kali is also taught in school, which was called Botoan, along with military tactics, alibata, and herbal medicines. On the dawn of April 27, 1521, Ferdinand Magellan was defeated by Lapu-Lapu, this was the record incident which Kali was used against foreign invaders. Years have passed by Spain and it was able to colonize the country and ban the practice of Kali. However, Kali was secretly practiced by natives in the watchful eyes of the Spaniards. In 1873, the fighting system was renamed Arnis which was derived from the word arnis, which means colorful trapping on defensive armors used on Moro Moro play. Now, we have modern arnis. It is the system of Filipino fighting arts founded by Remy Presas as a self-defense system. His goal was to create an injury-free training method as well as an effective self-defense system in order to preserve the older Arnis systems. The term modern Arnis was used by Remy Presas' younger brother, Ernesto Presas. He described it as his style of Filipino martial arts. Since 1999, 
Ernesto Presas has called his system Combatan. It is derived principally from the traditional Presas family style of the bolo or machete and the stick dueling art of Balintawak Eskrima, with influences from other Filipino and Japanese martial arts. Equipment used in Arnie's. nga pala si, si Senior Master Reggie Sanchez. Mahalaga po yung protector natin sa live stick sapagkat uh, ito po ay mas uh, delikado kaya kailangan quality na mga equipment natin lalong lalo na yung mga yung headgear natin na talagang dapat matibay at yung gloves na talagang hindi dapat tatagusin ng palo. Yung groin guard, siyempre, yan ang pinaka-importante din lalo sa mga lalaki kasi para maiwasan yung talagang napaka-delikadong injured. Sa padded naman, kailangan medyo light lang yung gamit kasi ito naman ay merong balot na foam, yung mga shin guard, ganun din, at saka yung arm guard, uh, gloves, isa rin sa protector ng padded stick natin. Kailangan din ito yung groin guard. Sa babae naman, yung protector nila para sa dibdib nila. Uh, isa rin sa pinakamahalaga. Yan ang mga klaseng gamit sa live stick natin at saka padded stick. Today, I'm gonna teach you Arnie's. I'm gonna teach you the seven basic stances, 12 basic strikes, and 12 basic blocks. Handa sa pagpugay, pugay po. Arnie's basic stances. Attention stance. Stand with feet at 45 degrees, angle, heels close together. Open leg stance. Stand with legs spread apart about shoulder width. Straddle leg stance. Spread legs about twice the width of shoulder and bend knees outward. Heels firmly planted and toes planting straight forward. Distribute weight evenly on both legs. Forward stance. Move one leg forward at a distance about twice the width of shoulder and about 30 degrees to the side and bend front leg at the knee with cane in the center and in fighting form. Rear leg is extended fully with both feet flat on the ground. Back stance. Stand with one foot backward with rear foot toes pointing outward and front foot toes pointing forward so that the two feet form an L shape. Rear knee should be a little bent, weight of 70% for the rear leg and 30% for the front leg. Oblique forward stance. This is executed by stepping either foot obliquely forward and obliquely to the left or to the right.
cat stands. The weight distribution is around 90% for the rear leg and 10% only for the front lifting leg. Twelve basic strikes. Stationary position. Left temple. Right temple. Left shoulder. Right shoulder. Stomach thrust. Left chest thrust. Right chest thrust. Right knee. Left knee. Left eye thrust, right eye thrust, head or crown. Right foot forward stance. with footwork. Twelve basic blocks. Stationary position. Left temple block. Right temple block. Left shoulder block. Right shoulder block. Stomach thrust block. Left chest thrust block. Right chest thrust block. Right knee block. Left knee block. Left eye thrust block. Right eye thrust block, overhead or umbrella block. Right foot forward stance. with footwork. Now that you learned the basic skills of RNAs, I will divide the class into three groups. We will have a performance activity by group. Group 1 will perform the 7 basic stances. Group 2 will perform the 12 basic strikes. And Group 3 will perform the 12 basic blocks. Your scores will be based on a rubric. We have here the rubrics for Arnie's group performance. So the criteria, knowledge of techniques 30%, execution of techniques 30%, performance 25%, and participation and teamwork 15% for a total of 100%. I'll give you 10 minutes to prepare.
Are you now ready? Let's get started. Please give yourselves a round of applause. I am so happy with your group performance. You were able to remember all the basic skills of Arnie's. Very good. Now let's have the assessment. This will be a peer assessment. Each one of you will be given a score sheet. Please find a partner. You will perform the basic skills of Arnie's in front of your partner. Your partner will assess you and will give you a score on how many basic skills of Arnie's you were able to perform. Here is the copy of your score sheet. Now find your partner and I'll give you 10 minutes to assess and score each other. You have very good scores! That's great! Did you enjoy our activities today? That's good to know! For your assignment, you will be given the same score sheet and you will perform the basic skills of Arnie's at home. Ask a family member to help you and assess you. Again, Arnie's is our national sport and our Philippine national martial art. Do you have any questions? If none, Let's have the closing prayer. Thank you for your participation in our class today. I hope you learned a lot in our PE class. Again, this is Teacher Rock, and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. Enjoy your day.